Hello fans from the Wheelchair Gang, Therese here and welcome back to another Doctor Who Series 14 leak video question mark. But before we get into it, if you could just do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, that would be ever so much appreciated. We are trying to get to 10k by the end of the year and if we could get there I would absolutely love you forever. Sub growth has slowed down a bit due to just the lack of any substantial Doctor Who stuff really going on. But if we could get to 8k before Series 13 airs, that would be absolutely fantastic. But... But, let's get into the leaks. So this first one is about Series 13, despite the title, it talks specifically about Find the Doctor, and it's by Into the Unknown 63. Some info for you guys. Find the Doctor completes on 16th of September with Smart Whovians unlocking a trailer, most likely that night on the Find the Doctor page. The trailer will drop on all Doctor Who socials the next day. Don't worry though, those who unlock the trailer, pretty much every Whovian who gets the password, will also get exclusive bonuses including a message from Jodie herself, plus the official artwork for Series 13. Hope this clears up any misinformation that is being spouted out by some eager players. Happy hunting. So a very interesting little leak there, and kind of a confirmation that a trailer could well be coming on the 16th, which is very nice to know, um, which also means that my deal with Mr. Tardis should be safe, if this is true. So yeah, take that, Mr. Sardis. But the second and more substantial leak is simply titled Series 14 Update and is by Kia Rwanda, who I believe we've covered the leaks of before. As I've previously said, Simon Allen is signed on to be head writer and the Oscar award-winning Emerald Fennel has also signed up to be co-writer with both exec producing the show. The update I have is apparently that Fennel is a three-series deal then she will exit, and another writer will join Alan at the helm, with Neil Gaiman already mentioned to be a contender. Again, I don't think you're going to get Neil Gaiman anytime soon. He said before, basically, he doesn't want the job. I don't think that, you know, a couple more years is really going to change his mind, so I'm doubtful of that. HBO will be co-producing Doctor Who from Series 14 onwards, after their current production series, Dark Materials, completes filming. I'm unsure of that, mainly because I think they've got a deal with HBO, that Doctor Who is on their platform till Series 15, and I don't think they would make a deal for a show that they don't have a partial stake in. I could be wrong, but again, unsure about that. As I also said, Ollie Alexander was the frontrunner to take over from Jodie Whittaker as the 14th Doctor. This was all but contracted from what I heard, but I have heard interesting whispering, which may mean that the 14th Doctor has went back to casting. I highly doubt that they had someone already lined up given that the showrunner hasn't even been announced yet. Normally the showrunner would pick who they want to be the Doctor. Obviously there's a couple of exceptions to that throughout Doctor Who's history. Obviously it's a different thing but in the 80s with uh, John Nathan Turner, after Colin Baker's mixed reception with audiences, they basically insisted on auditioning for the 7th Doctor rather than just letting him pick whoever he wanted. But generally speaking, the decision of who plays the next Doctor is down to the showrunner of that time. Ollie is apparently not keen on signing up for three years, however the BBC and showrunners are determined to have a lead actor or actress sign on for that period or longer. I really would like to see an actor or actress inhabit the role of the Doctor for longer than three years. I think this three series rule is being taken a bit too seriously, like Patrick Trout said it once, and now everyone treats it like it's gospel. I think... I don't think three series is necessarily too long to inhabit that role. I understand the actors fear typecasting and things, but for example, you have shows now like Walking Dead that are running for like nine series, and those actors, you know, they can still get other work and stuff. So I really don't think three years is too long to be in one part. Obviously, it's up to the discretion of the actor, of course, but I would like to see an actor break out of that mould. The 14th Doctor needs to be cast and have their contract signed, for the 22nd of September. There are now four names which are apparently in talks to be a replacement for Ollie. Jesus, we're on replacements for replacements. This is like Inception. Who is still in communication with the BBC. Now this isn't as solid information as I usually share, but it's interesting so I thought I'd best inform you all. The first name that is apparently in deep negotiations is actress Naomi Harris. The BBC and HBO have worked with Harris before on The Third Day and are eager to have her front a series. She is highly acclaimed and notable actress, which is exactly what the BBC is looking for. They want a notable name to front the reboot of the series, so the fee being offered is considerably higher than the previous Doctors. Ollie's fee was already higher than Whitaker's or Capaldi's. Okay, so I'm going to stop it briefly there. 
I don't know whether Oli is worth more than Capaldi. Like, I'm sorry, I know he's been in It's a Sin and he's kind of the hot thing right now, but Capaldi is a veteran actor of the industry, won many awards. I'm not sure whether he's worth more than Capaldi, but anyway. The three series deal is not a problem for Harris, but she wants flexibility to explore other projects. Therefore, elongated breaks between series is to be expected if she is cast. I would not want that. If it means that we have longer breaks, I would advise against that, if only because. Obviously, we don't even know whether this is going to happen, but to me, at least, when Doctor Who goes on longer breaks, it's much more difficult for the show to regain the audience it had after those breaks. Most of the lowest viewing figures of the revival come after a gap year. Most notably, Doctor Who taking a year off in 2016, and therefore Series 10 had some of the lowest viewing figures, and Doctor Who taking a year off in 2019, only for then Series 12 to have some of the lowest viewing figures. And I don't think that's a coincidence. I think the breaks do more harm than they do any good. So if elongated breaks is an inevitability with Naomi Harris, I would perhaps advise against that course of action. Obviously, if this was true. Patricia Allison is another name that the BBC are interested in. Apparently, she has already auditioned for the 14th Doctor and showed strong promise. However, as she is a relatively unknown name, apart from appearing in Netflix's series Sex Education, it may not be a feasible or wise move for Alan's debut Doctor. Scottish actor Daniel Portman from Game of Thrones and Vigil has also auditioned for the role and is also being considered after a successful audition. Once again, the name is an issue as he is a relatively unknown actor. Finally, the name that has come up a lot is very much the one that has been considered, but would definitely be a one-series deal. The BBC are willing to make an exception, as they know this name would bring notoriety to the series. Helena Bottom Carter has been approached by Fennel and Alan to consider playing the 14th Doctor for one series. I'm going to stop right there. That's not happening. I don't care if it's one series or one million series. There's no way they're getting Helena Bottom Carter. She's simply too big. Apparently conversations have been open but not necessarily progressive. Carter has a busy schedule and doesn't think she can commit to a year of filming, meaning we most likely won't see the actress take on the role just yet. Basically, it's not happening. The search for a companion has been put on hold until the new Doctor is announced. I'm calling BS on the majority of this. Like I say, I highly doubt that they're already holding 14th Doctor auditions if they haven't even got a showrunner properly in place. Now this says that they do, but... Again, this entirely hinges on the idea that that's correct. As well, the idea of Ollie being a frontrunner, again, I think that was just a tabloid fluff piece, really. I don't really think it was a serious consideration. And like I say, as for the other actors, the idea of one of the actors requiring there to be elongated breaks, not a fan of. The idea of a one-series Doctor, even if it was Helena Bon Carter, while it would be a formula break, I think one series is too short. And obviously the idea of an unknown actor, I could see them going with a more known actor for the next one, but I also do agree with this leak to a point that the next Doctor could do with being a big name in order to get the show some much needed notoriety. But yeah, this leak, not sure. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and I will see you later.